Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you on an eye look I created using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm going to go ahead and jump in getting started using my MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This is in shade NW20 and I'm just going to be pushing this all over my eyelids from inner corner to outer corner, um, acting as a primer and really just concealing any redness you may have in your eyelids. So going in with the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to be starting off with the color Tease, which is the matte brown shade, um, on a large fluffy brush and just really blending this in from my outer corner to inner corner in windshield wiper motions, making sure to get a good amount of product on your eyelids because you really want this to be pigmented. It's going to play a big part in our eye look today. And we're going to be going for a really blown out look for the eye, so this transition shade is really going to help you to achieve that. After that, I'm going to be going in with the shade Chopper. This is a coppery gold shade, and I'm taking this on my Sigma E55 shader brush, and I'm just placing this from inner corner to outer corner all over my lid, uh, making sure that I don't take it too far up into the crease. You want to make sure you turn your brush sideways so that this strictly stays on the lower part of your eyelid. After that, we're going to be going in with the Sigma E36 blending brush and taking the shade Busted, which is the dark brown shade, and just focusing this in our crease right above the eye, um, making sure to really blend that out. It's a darker shade, so it is harder to blend, but we are going to go in after that with the Sigma E25 blending brush, which is a little bit bigger of a brush, and we're going to be focusing the color a little bit more um, on the outer corner and the inner corner. Um, just blending that out as best as we can and if you still find that it isn't blending as well as you would like it to um, you can go in like I did with your uh, same E50 or E40 large fluffy brush and just kind of blend out any harsh lines that you may have created when placing the darker color into your lids. Okay after that we're going to be taking that same chopper shade on the same brush we used before and we're just going to be placing this on the ball of our eye. Um, it's just going to add a little bit more of the pigmented color to your eye and by placing it only on the ball of your eye it's going to give your eyes more of a round effect adding to the blown out look we're going for. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline gel liner. This is in the shade Blackest Black and I'm just running this along my upper lash line from inner corner to outer corner. Um, not too thick and I am not creating a wing. We're just using the eyeliner to define our eyes today. And then I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Falsies Mascara and applying a small coat of mascara to my lashes because I am going in with false lashes today. This step is completely optional. If you are not a person who likes to wear false lashes, you definitely don't have to wear false lashes. Um, I just personally like the way that they look on my face. When I created this eye look, I found that the false lashes really made the look pop. So now I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation on my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I'm just going to be placing this all over my face, buffing it into the skin. Um, and I, I did find that this shade was a little bit too light for me, so I do look very pale, but I, it, it all kind of comes together in the end. Um, but I'm just placing this all over my face, really making sure to buff it into the skin and dragging it down my neck to make sure that we don't have any lines along our chin. Now I'm going in with the shade Busted. That was the same dark brown shade we used before, and I'm using a flat definer brush um, to just run this shade really close to my lower lash line. Um, making sure it's really tight to that lash line and very pigmented because we are going to take the same chopper shade from before and that was the gold color we put on the middle of our lids and we're just going to be taking this on a pencil brush and we're going to be brushing it all the way from inner corner to outer corner really blowing out that bottom lash line um, blending and blending and blending to go for the blown out effect. I'm going to be lining my lower water line um, and lash line using the same uh, angled brush from before and the same Maybelline gel liner in the shade black is black and that's just going to help to define our eyes a little bit more and then putting just a small coat of uh, mascara on my lower lashes and that is it for our eyes so now to get rid of my white face I'm going to be taking um, my Benefits Hula Bronzer on my Sigma F25 tapered face brush and I'm not really going for a contour I'm just kind of bronzing the face um, 
all over my forehead, my cheekbones, and in around the temples of my face. You can see the difference it makes just to run a little bit of bronzer along the cheekbones. It really helps to define your face. Um, so just doing the same thing to the other side and then bringing it down my neck again just to help avoid any paleness that I had put on from the foundation. After this, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. This is in the shade Soft Brown. Um, I'm going to be just running this through my eyebrows, focusing more on the arch of my brow and the tail, making it darker on the ends and lighter on the inside. And then taking a, a clear brow, it's not a clear brow gel, it's actually a clear mascara, but I find that it works just as well. And I'm using this to set my eyebrows to make sure that they don't move throughout the day and you don't find little eyebrow hairs that are sticking up when you don't really want them to be. After that, I am going to be taking my MAC 242 brush and to highlight my brow, I'm going to be taking the shade from the Naked 2 palette called Booty Call. And this is going to go on the brow bone as well as on my Sigma E46 inner corner brush. I'm going to be put, putting this on the inner corner of my eye and that's just going to help our eyes pop a little bit more as well. We're really making our eyes pop today. I feel like I keep repeating myself. <laughs> After that, I'm going to be taking Max Blush in the shade Copper Tone. It's a really, really pretty blush. Kind of speaks for itself. Has a coppery tone to it. I'm um, placing this on the apples of my cheeks and dragging it back towards my temples, making sure to blend the blush into the bronzer. This blush does not have any uh, shimmer in it, so it is a little bit harder to blend. Then I'm going in with my Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. This is a really pretty highlighter that I'm taking on my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And I'm just going to be running that on the high points of my cheekbones, as well as the bridge of my nose. And then today I believe I'm going to be using my finger to, yeah, my finger <laughs> to highlight um, just the Cupid's bow right above my mouth. And then I'm going to be taking my favorite lipstick of all time by MAC and that is in the shade Shy Girl. It's a pinkish kind of corally tone but it really complements this eye look with the the bronze look we have going with our eyes and I'm just placing this on my lips and you are all done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions for anything else you'd like to see please feel free to leave it in the comments below.